Hello, I'm Yasser Janab, Interventional Cardiologist in Tehran Heart Center, presenting the Supervenankova Syndrome Endovascular Management. The objectives of this presentation are getting more information about epidemiology of SVC syndrome and therapeutic options in this syndrome. SVC syndrome is a constellation of clinical signs and symptoms caused by obstruction of blood flow through the SVC. SVC syndrome may have malignant and benign causes. The most common malignant causes are non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancers. The most benign causes are catheters, pacemakers, and indwelling hemodialysis catheters. Overall, lung or mediastinal malignant tumors are the most common causes of SVC syndrome. Stenting of SVC in patients with malignant causes is the most effective and rapid treatment for the relief of SVC syndrome symptoms. Also, stenting would have enough patency during short life of these patients with malignancy. Our case is a 60-year-old man with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. He complained of recent congestion and edema of face, neck, and upper extremities, dyspnea, atnea function class 4, and also complaining of orthopnea, contrast chest CT scans such as SVC occlusion, and he was referred to our center for opening of superuvenous cava. We use right femoral vein as our access point. We also used A1 catheter and O35 hydrophilic wire for visualization and crossing of lesion. As it is shown in this video, the SVC seems to have severe stenosis or occlusion before junction to right atrium. After crossing, the injection shows enlarged ozygous vein. As the picture shows in this patient, ozygous vein works as a major collateral to drain supervena cava blood to inferior vena cava. Injection in left and right brachiocephalic veins shows patent left brachiocephalic vein, some stenosis in right brachiocephalic vein and a strict stenosis of supervena cava vein. Periodilation was done with 10 mm balloon. First stenting was done with 14 mm self-expandable sinux XL stent. Due to small distal displacement of stent after post dilation and some stenosis in right brachiocephalic vein, the second 16 mm stent was deployed from right brachiocephalic vein to superior cava, with some overlap with the first stent. Post dilation was done with 12 mm balloon. You can see the final result. In summary, malignancy is the most common cause of SVC syndrome and endovascular approach is the first therapeutic choice in these patients. Thanks for your watching.